When you consider vision, it's something that we often take for granted. People are born seeing, we see, we never think that we might not be seeing. And there are people out there who don't have vision. They, they have either blurry vision, bad vision, or no vision at all. And I don't think we can really understand what that's like until it happens. Inside Science. Glaucoma is an optic neuropathy that is associated with an elevated intraocular pressure that results in a progressive loss of visual field over time. So what that means for a patient is uh, they'll slowly lose peripheral vision until they realize that there's no vision left and they go blind, and this vision loss is irreversible. Because it has such an insidious onset, patients don't usually realize they have it until it's too late. For people that see an ophthalmologist regularly, ophthalmologists might be able to catch glaucoma coming on by you know, different measurements, and they can be treated early. But for those who maybe don't have access to healthcare or who don't see an ophthalmologist regularly, they might not know they have glaucoma until it's too late. What we can do is screen for it in the community. So the technology I'm targeting is actually the visual field test. The machine is called the Humphreys Ice FDT, and it tests visual field. And patients uh, put their head into this big machine and they look specifically at this little black dot and they're asked not to look around. And so this machine shows these little flickers, um, these little stimuli in their peripheral vision and they're asked to press a button when they see these stimuli. If you are affected by glaucoma and you have that peripheral vision loss, you won't see these stimuli and that'll come up on the report. The problem with these machines is they're very large, they're very expensive. My whole project is centered around making these machines smaller, cheaper, and more accessible. So the way we did that is we used a smartphone and a virtual reality headset. So we take the smartphone, we program the test onto it, and then we place it into a virtual reality headset, have a small little Bluetooth remote, and it's this small portable machine that patients can wear anywhere and take the test. As far as what we need to do from now uh, looking forward, we have to validate the device, you know, see does it actually work, is it actually comparable to the existing standard, and then from there we can talk about, you know, different options as far as getting it out there. Glaucoma is actually the leading cause of irreversible blindness worldwide. If we're able to prevent that or improve that, the quality of life aspect here, you can improve someone's quality of life drastically by preserving their vision or doing anything you can to improve that vision, and that's what motivates me to pursue this project and get this out there. Inside Science. If you enjoyed this edition, follow us on the web and social media. Powered by the American Institute of Physics and a coalition of underwriters.